Hi, I am Master Kambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. Because yesterday I only... Well, actually I should say. Because yesterday I didn't upload. Uh, today's video will have two replays. Uh, the first one will be Archer versus one of my alts back in January 2022. Olaf versus Andy. Let's cover both Profile and both Seal. There we are with my alternate account that will end his run for now in Global League. Because I only have two gaming going and I don't want any more games until the rotation gets better. So, Eagle, Drake, Jess, Javier. And the 848.28, 306 wins, 310 defeats, 59 draw. Basically, most of the time it's my account versus my other account, so that's why. Next up, Archer 1017.84 with 319 wins, 298 defeats. 6 draw, Jake, Andy, Olaf, Drake, Adder. Yeah, 2 global damage, okay. Uh, now, I remember that guy being really strong, so he still deserves his place, but 2 global damage, CO in his top 5, oh my, oh my, oh my, I get judgmental there. Andy, no day-to-day -day ability, yeah, quite boring, usually when I pick him, it's because I know there's a lag of him on my channel, so I'm like, let's pick him. So, Hyper Repair 3 stars, all unit gain plus 2 HP. Hyper Upgrade, all unit gain plus 5 HP, plus 10% attack and plus 1 movement. One of the best super in the game, it's really good. And uh, yeah, that make up for his lag of day to day. Next stop, Olaf. Unaffected by snow, but rain affect him. The same as snow would for others. Change the weather to snow for one day, blizzard, three stars. Winter free for seven stars. Enemy unit lose two HP to a minimum of 0 0.1. And the weather changed to snow for one day. So, his blizzard will affect me much more than his winter free. Now, a good Olaf player against Andy. They will basically tend to wait for a good push before using their uh, Winter Fury. Because if they don't do such thing, well, uh, you know what happened. Andy will just recover the HP. I do not miss this map. I don't really like this map. I don't hate it either, but I don't miss it. Capture, just classic capture stuff. I opened up Recon and he opened up Tank. I have the Artery follow up. Let's see what he has a, as a follow up. Double Tank. So I already prefer his opening. That's my kind of opening. Here I tried out something new. For me at that time at least. And even as of today, I don't really open up with Recon because I don't like the Recon opening. Uh, now, the reason why I did this, I remember it even almost a year later. I knew Archer was better than me. So I'm like, let's try out things I don't usually do and maybe it will work out well. That's something you can try out when you fight better opening than you. Now, will it work? We will see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And now I misclicked. <laughs> oh my, that infantry should have been capturing this building. Uh, yeah. Things happen. When you play fast like me, sometimes you misclick. Tank. Capture bunch of built dang. Capture bunch of built dang. Transport Copter, I disagree with that. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Transport 
helicopter opening. Especially in this map because this map is really big. So you really want your unit in the front line. Now this will help out to boost out unit there. But a common mistake is to send the transport copter here to get the tower faster. I disagree with that. Your transport should push infantry forward if you go that road. Rushing your tower will just make you have better engagement faster, but it won't give you a huge lead. And transport copter are meant to give you a better economy than your opponent. So, yeah. Capture, capture. I guess after realizing I did a mistake, I didn't want to go back. By going there, I didn't waste a, a space. Maybe I should have gotten here, but I guess I wanted to go here to have more vision. Which makes sense, considering I did a mistake there. Double infantry and tank. Yeah, bad copter, bruh. Double artillery infantry, it makes sense. And direct are really good in this map. Now, I made an anti air because. I know how good battle copters are in this map, so uh, yeah. Capture. Now by going back here, I wasted a turn. I should have kept my infantry on that mountain. Maybe I should have maybe tried to capture that. I don't know, but I feel like I wasted the turn there. Capture. Base skip war crime, it's wrong, don't do that. Kill. First strike, first strike. Now all of my troops are there. So it's very interesting that all of his troops are here and we just take skirmishes here and there. So I'm currently winning this side but it's obvious he's winning this side so uh, that's a very interesting start I think double tank infantry kill damage kill capture that were double tank infantry Capture, capture. First, like, okay, I will say this. I think that tank was really greedy. He wanted to take as many shots as he could. He should have, a, he should have expected a tank at some point because I knew he had tanks there. Maybe he realized most of my troops were here, but that doesn't mean I won't send any ear. So, ear, that's a big mistake, I think. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Now I have the IPS Recon in forever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First strike, first strike, first strike. So that turn was really good for me. I did a lot of damage all over the place. So that was a very aggressive turn. Rocket double infantry. Drop to infantry. Now unit count wise I have a small lead. It's normal because I did not base skip and he did base skip. Now you will tell me oh he has a transport copter. That's actually right. So I just took better engagement I guess. But yeah. You have air units you should be the one having the lead in terms of unit count. Kill my unit damage. Kill. Ooh, kill. So this turn was really good for him. That counterattack was weird. 
So instead of just sacking that thing, you should have run away, like, either in a forest or try to heal your tank. Killing yourself there was wrong, I think. Chip damage, I guess. Medium tank. I also have a take up unit, so that makes sense. Damage. Kill. Damage. Kill. 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 Damage. 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 Tank and tier infantry. And we shall end the turn. 30 to 24. And yeah, I got a small lead there. Let's see how you will flip the table. Kill a bunch of my unit. Let's see, another good counter attack. I think his counter attack are really good. And they tarnish the good turn I have here and there. So now it's 27 to 24. I, I'm about... Well, I have my super. First strike. First strike. First strike. Kill. 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 Now, I used my hyper upgrade before is Winter Fury because I had a lot of crippled units and I wanted to kill that tank. So I do defend that hyper upgrade. That was a good hyper upgrade. Now his winter fury will be really crazy on me, but I still got good value there, and uh, he lost the black boat. Difference of six units. Just just wait and see. Damage. Kill. I feel like you should have used his super before attacking there. Because that thing would be probably at 8 HP. Maybe 9 if I low roll. Because he has first strike and winter fury. So I think that was a mistake to not use winter fury at that point. Got trapped. And winter fury at the end of the turn. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, I would have used it earlier. Kill the tank, kill the infantry. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Because I am broke. <laughs> Ooh, kill. Damage. Damage, kill. Kill. Battlecopter anti-air double infantry. So right now he has a small lead, but it's normal because Winter Fury happened. He also has a much better economy than me looking back. Twenty-six to twenty-four, somewhat even at the start of his turn, but he has the income lead, so this means I will fall behind very fast. And I think my biggest sin in this game is being behind him in terms of money for most of the game. And I could not really have a good turn because he always had good engagement. Oh, I see. That's the thing that scouted my artery. So, yeah. Kill. Oh, my unit survived. Impressive. Damage, damage, kill, damage. Tank and tier infantry, kill, kill. Oof. So right now it's crystal clear I will lose. This counter attack most of the time are really good. Uh, I have a serious lack of vision because I don't have enough tank and recon on the front line. That doesn't help. Um, on top of that I have let well actually right now we are even in income but for most of the first half of the game he had more income than me.
here again. Uh, this time around, I use Hyper Repair. Here's my explanation. I don't have enough damage for a juicy Hyper Upgrade. And the second reason, I know Winter Fury is coming. And by using my power instead of my super, I still have left over. So I will be able to use another Hyper Repair next turn once his crazy super goes on. Tank anti-air infantry. Kill. Damage. Kill. 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 Oh, I actually survived there. Now I died. Usually I say don't make rockets, but here's the thing. In this map, rockets are actually good, but I poorly used it because I didn't shield it enough. And now Winter Free is coming soon. Kill, kill, damage, kill. Losing that rocket made me lose the game at the end. And Winter Free... And I'm just too far behind and I know it. I resign. For most of the game I was behind of him in terms of economy. My unit count was at some point even, at other point lower. Olaf is a really strong seal. Andy is also good but he is more average than really strong. And I was all matched because that guy is just better than me. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed that first replay. Let's move on with the second replay. Misty! Hey, am I by do not miss? No, no, no. Now, this is game two. With the Minko against myself, one of my alternate account. Here again, January 2022 games. Let's cover both profile. Profile number one, Domino, 998.21, with 109 victory and 97 defeats. Drake, Lash, Grim, Andy, Max. Very interesting, that person seems like a brawler type, because we see both Grim and Max. Uh, so yeah, not active for now, three months, four months, almost four months. Interesting, very interesting. Let's move on to my account. Well, actually, you already have seen my account. But just as a refresher, if you missed part one of this video, uh, here we are with 848.28, 306 wins, 310 defeats. Eagle, Drake, Jess, Javier, Andy. I guess now we will cover seals. So seals. Adder, where are you, Adder? There you are, Adder. No day today ability quite boring seal, right? Side slip two stars. All unit gain plus one movement. It's kinda good. Sidewinder for five stars. All unit gain plus two movement. If you play on, uh, I think it's the Euro Europe ROMs of the game, it's uh, Snake Bite. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to Jess now. The powerful Jess. Vehicle gain plus 10% attack, but all other units, including Foot Soldier, lose 10% attack. Turbo Charge, 3 stars. Vehicle gain plus 1 movement, and their attack is increased to 20. All unit resupply, fuel, and ammo. Overdrive, vehicle gain plus 2 movement, and their attack is increased to 40. All unit resupply, fuel, and ammo. Fuel, fuel. Um, yeah. It's a good power and a good super. 
a bit more expensive than others, but it's normal. I have a day to day. Here we are. Let's be fast on the first few turn. I will actually resize everything because this hides a little bit the upper part. Feel like now it's much better. Let's take a look to OBS. Yeah, it's the replay looks smaller, but it's normal. At least now the bar doesn't hide anything anymore. Same similar opening, but I didn't move my lander enough. I remember in the early days of this map being on rotation, I barely used my lander. I really don't like this map or any map that gives you lander and black boat when you start. I think it broke. Yeah, it broke. It broke! Attack. Capture, capture. Attack, capture, capture. Classic turns. My lander being underused will make me lose the game. Capture, lots of stuff. Almost kill the black boat. Kill. I really wanted that tower fast. And I think that was me playing this map most of the time like that. I should have placed that lander there to be closer to the tower. Oh my! January guys, January, almost a year. I'm glad this map is out to be honest, I don't really like it. I don't hate the map either because it's better than a lot of map I've seen in the Global League, but I I don't like it still. Enter Lander. Uh, base skip because I miscalculated my money. I'm bad at math, sorry about that. Damage, kill, oh the guy survived right, I'm Jess, this is why Jess is trash, that infantry should have died. Now you will tell me the Raycon has higher firepower, true, but usually with any normal seal, Raycon and infantry is usually enough to kill infantry. Now I probably low roll both, that's why he's still alive. Or it's just Jess being trashed because her infantry are weak here. Oh, that Raycon survived. Impressive. Damage kill, damage. Mech? No. I don't see any transport copter, don't create any mechs. Uh, you are adder. I mean, you have decent mechs because of your power, but your specialty is not a mix. Your mechs don't really have higher fire power. Now I, I do some 700 play. I drink cap. Never do that. Capture kill. Okay. Um, it's a huge mistake. I don't watch at the replay, so I don't know he has something else there. But I should expect something else there. Now, two of my Enderic will be it, because he has both a Recon and a Tank. I will counterattack really hard, because he has nothing else backing up these two units. But these two artillery could have been spared if I was smarter with it. That may cost me the game, this huge mistake. Kill damage 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 
very interesting he doesn't go for that thing he goes for my infantry instead I understand what he's doing you want to damage my economy yeah it will work I'm telling you it will work kill using NTR the wrong way um, yeah right now I'm playing terribly it's terrible all these play I'm doing right now oh my damage I, I, I guess I have in his face because I can so right now he has a better economy he has a bit less volume but this is the start of his turn so it's normal so uh, maybe that's the turn I lose damage Kill. Oh, that little one survived. Interesting. Kill. Kill. Oh my. I should have retreated because he will get that building. Yes, tank prisons. And the closest thing I got is a medium tank. This is why you don't tend to like medium tank. I used to like medium tank, but right now my playstyle is more like battle copter and direct rules. And sometime when I'm backed into a corner I will make a take up unit. But take up unit are fun, they are good, but I just feel like the early turn unit are just straight up better. Now my only option at that point I realize is to HQ cap and that's why I dedicate so, more, so much of my troops just into bashing that lander because I want to HQ cap him. Uh, if I can HQ cap him even if he has more money than me because I know at that point he has more money than me. I barely use my lander and units here died. So I, I I knew at that point I was behind and I was like my days are numbered I need to HQ cap her. That's like my only way to win. So the lander moves, making the HQ free. That country that is really hard. Kill a lot of my stuff. Is it the turn I resign? No, I don't resign because I see an opening and like maybe, just maybe I can HQ cap that person. So I know that if my HQ cap fails, I lost the game. So that won't take too long. Damage. 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 Kill. Ooh. Damage. Damage. And kill. I lost. I still kept going. Oh my. I I lost. Bomber. Just take a look at the big gap. I'm glad that map is out of the rotation to be honest. Um, that's something to expect. Look, I'm not the best player out there, it's obvious. Uh, did just this video alone as two defeat in a row. Usually I lose more than I win, but map factors in a lot in my motivation and if I want to play it. That's why two of my account are now no more in the league because I don't like the rotations so uh, yeah I will blame the map on that one so uh, I hope guys and girls enjoyed I, I think I resign like next turn or this turn I tried to kill some stuff but I resign anyway he's capping my HQ and there's nothing I can do to to reach that unit so uh, yeah, thank you uh, globally to no more of that map around. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe. We will see each other tomorrow for Dream vs. The World, episode number 9. Take care of yourself.